below all. Today, we're going to explore David Hume's argument about causality, a fundamental concept in philosophy and science. Specifically, we'll focus on Hume's claim that causality is not a matter of logical necessity, but rather a habit or custom of the human mind. Let's start with what causality means. In simple terms, causality is the relationship between cause and effect. For example, if you drop a glass, it falls and breaks. The cause is you dropping it, and the effect is the glass breaking. Now, before Hume, many philosophers believed that the connection between cause and effect was something necessary, almost like a law of nature that the human mind could understand through reason alone. Think of Isaac Newton. He described physical laws that seem to explain how the universe works in a deterministic way. But Hume takes a very different approach. He argues that our belief in cause and effect is not based on reason or logical necessity. Instead, it's based on experience and the psychological principle of association. Let's break that down. When we see two events happen together repeatedly, say the sun rising every morning or a flame producing heat, we form an association between them. Over time, we come to expect that if one event happens, the other will follow. Hume calls this expectation a habit or custom. So, according to Hume, causality isn't something we can know with certainty through pure reason. Instead, it's a mental habit. We've seen similar patterns so many times that our minds automatically associate them. It's like muscle memory, but for the mind. Now, here's the critical part. Hume argues that we never actually see a necessary connection between cause and effect. What we observe is just one event following another. For example, you see the flame and then feel the heat, but you never observe some invisible force that makes the heat follow from the flame. We infer the connection, but we can't prove it logically. This leads to an important philosophical implication. If causality is just a habit, then it's not certain or necessary. It's possible that the future won't resemble the past, just because the sun rose yesterday doesn't guarantee it will rise tomorrow. It's simply that we've never seen it fail to rise, so we expect it. Hume's argument challenges the very foundation of scientific knowledge, which relies on cause and effect to make predictions. He doesn't deny that we experience the world this way, but he warns us our confidence in causality comes from custom, not reason. To sum up, Hume argues that causality is a matter of habit, formed by the psychological principle of association. We observe events happening together repeatedly, and from this experience, we expect them to happen the same way in the future. But this expectation isn't logically necessary, it's just a habit of the mind. 